Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Destiny 2 Adventure Time. We're still on Nessus. Look at this lovely terraformed planet. It has been completely, well, changed and altered by the Vax. Um, a giant thing in the sky there over there is actually the Leviathan. The uh, place where you can do the raid right on top of there. There's like a city on top of that giant spacecraft which is actually used to destroy machines. Uh, machines destroy planets entire planets and uh, turn them into resources for the cabal to make more stuff but we're at the uh, start kind of starting area of Nessus where you usually end up when you first uh, come to this planet and uh, it's the first time we actually can get a bit a bit of a better view because uh, the first adventure I realized that it didn't really give us a nice overview of what Nessus actually looks like and uh, yeah this is actually it white marble blocks and uh, red plant life so uh, there's also a few adventures here so I'm just gonna jump off the thing here and then all the way down because I think it's right over there yeah there we go so let's just jump down unbreakable failsafe has caught wind of vex tech that could result in unstoppable barriers Captain, vex in your patrol area have upgraded their barrier technology to be impenetrable using a new unidentified energy source Nearby construct should have the data we need to locate a sample of this technology. Unbreakable shield sounds bad. Let's take them apart. So obviously Failsafe is here to provide us with another mission. And for that we just need to start killing some Vax. Nothing new of course. Maybe, uh, well we're gonna help out these guys a bit. Because they might actually drop uh, the stuff we need. It looks like we need one more. I do hear something firing at us, but it sounds like... Are there more enemies down? I can't... For the life of me see where there's... Oh, must be up top here. Uh, never mind. Ow! Hey! Hey! You jerk! Yeah, I, I can't really get that from here. Could you please? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Just spawn one of them right over here. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for that. There we go, Fort Vex the Energy Core. There's a weird energy spike nearby that might be what we're looking for. I would be happy to analyze any samples you obtain. I need a life. Someone get me off this rock. So the resource on this planet is Data Lattice, or I think it's how you pronounce it, Data Lattice. And, uh, well... We're gonna have to head towards that other crash ship. That's actually where we find our first communication with Failsafe in the main quest, if I'm not mistaken. I hear I hear Twinklies. Yeah, there we go. More Twinklies. Twinklies for me. Thank you very much. And let's head... Okay, hi. Empowered Minotaur. So again, the white shield means they're impenetrable. So that's just... We've got the spike. Put down shield. Here using those fancy shields. The captain always finds a way. Oh, wait, what? His shield is gold. Oh, the damage from my... Uh... Oh, now he's immune again. Wait, what? He doesn't seem like he should be immune. Ah, if I stand inside of the light column, I can actually damage him. There we go. I think that I was it. Additional spikes nearby. We should collect them for analysis. Ooh. Perhaps we can discover how they are producing it. And then blow them up. And then blow them up. Yeah, I do like both fail saves. There's a public event going on there right now. There seems to be a few people, so give me a second. And there we go. Heroic public event completed. I do love those things, especially if you have a few people around that know how to uh, start those uh, heroic versions of each public event. That's a good quick way of getting some loot, because I think, yeah. There we have the chest. Let's collect the loot before anybody punts them off the equipment. cliff. And let us take it. These cabal don't have a lot of faith in us, do they? I have no idea why that might be. I don't. So let's head towards the tangle, which was actually our objective. Captain. Additional energy pools overhead. Uh-huh. Additional energy pools overhead. Seems like there's indeed 
two more energy pools in the trees up here because I do love this area. This is a really, really cool bit of the planet. So I need to make my work my way up there. So there's one more goblin over here. Let's just stick him with it and kill him. So there's a few of those spots. So let's just collect the energy by standing inside of it. Does seem easy enough. There aren't a lot of enemies around. Aside from a few uh, hobgoblins. Seems like the energy also causes me to uh, be able to do damage. So I feel... No, I can't actually damage them without the energy as well. And then one more over there. Well, there seems to be more than a few, Thanks so... Fine. Data. I have located one final set of fonts for you to collect. Failsafe, this is turning into kind of a long walk. Hey, at least you can walk. I live in a dilapidated boat. <laughs> yeah, she kind of has a point. What is this? I've never seen this. It looks like there's things you need to I'm getting some kill in a nice hole. Here. This thing is connecting to something. Opposite Mercury's orbit on the far side of the sun. What's out there? Uh, I don't know. To the opposite side of the sun from Mercury. I, I don't know what he's talking about, actually. But we need to head over there towards the large energy font. I can't jump there in one go. I kind of fuck myself here. But yeah, how am I gonna do this? Well, give me, Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna try and get over there. Seems to be a minotaur guarding it, but if I just go like this... Where the hell is it? Oh, fuck. Still have my super for a bit. Oh, I think... Yeah, okay, he fell down. I thought he was gone, so I destroyed the Minotaur. I'm gonna have to make them indeed fail safe, so that looks like the entrance of... Well, something fancy. I mean, this is all still in the uh, main, well, the open area you can go at any time. So I think we won't find any big surprises over here. Okay, yeah, okay. I think this actually leads into, yeah, that was very elegant, into an underground, again, an underground cave. Yeah, most of them are underground, but an underground cavern. And that looks special. Is that just a portal seen from, yeah, from very far away? Interesting. Let's head in there. Going deeper still. So I think this is actually leading towards the start of the DLC, kind of. Yeah. Right into one of those pools. This Raptor chart. So that takes about 12 seconds. Okay, what the hell? That's been protected now. And I'm guessing I only will be able to do damage as long as I have the charge. No. Can actually kill those. But probably the Minotaurs will be better protected. Can just run around to get disruptive charges. There we go. Thought I heard. Yeah, there he is. Is he right next to? No. Oh, I still have the disruptive charge. No, no, not anymore. So, another disruptive charge, and then all the way around. Kind of doesn't leave me with a lot of uh, choice here. Ah, he's immune again. Okay, this is starting to get annoying. I need to get into a font, an energy font, then melee him, and then I have about six to seven seconds to actually do damage so let's go with the sniper rifle just punt them in yeah this is not gonna help punt them in the face damn it is immune again final one disruptive charge 
And then let's just go finish this off. Yeah, I can't. I really need to melee hit him. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, there's a lot of those. There's quite a lot of those. I need to do three of those. So yeah, give me a second. Oh, I can actually damage the orb in the middle. Yeah, there we go. And give me a second now. Next one seems to be a bit closer to one another. So let's just super it up. There we go. Let's pick up the arc charge. There we go. Put that into one of the two remaining slots. And just start wailing on the... Okay, where did that... There was a sniper over there. There he is. There we go. One hit him. And then to 63%. Next batch. Well, this is inconvenient. The last one is all the way up here. So that means I need to... Uh, get that light font. Turn around. Oh, don't turn away. God damn it. I did get him off the rock, which is hopefully working to my advantage. And I think I have one more font up there left. So before I take that, let's just locate him over there. Okay. I think I can actually reach him with one. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got him. Jesus Christ. Let's take the arc charge and uh, put it into the last remaining slot and destroy that fancy blue warp in the middle. To end this. Boop, boop. Okay, that was... Can I use the... Uh, how much damage does that do? Didn't really do anything. There we go. Destroyed! Failsafe, we can report those shields won't be a problem anymore. Nice catch. The Vex Collective is reporting the same thing. Hopefully, they do not possess the resources to do this twice. I'm hoping that as well, because that was a bit more interesting, became a bit tedious by the end there, but it was an interesting mechanic, so let's just teleport back out. And that puts us back, I think this is the one... Is this the one I got in from? Well, it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah, that's it for this episode. Another adventure done with the Vex this time instead of the, the Fallen. So, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.